and welcome to Jimmy Desm Total Laundry Channel. We intention we uh, originally intended to make a whole add-on review of the um, ACE Armor Combat Extended, which is basically ACF but with a lot of stuff. So I've uninstalled all ACF stuff except ACE. Uh, however, talked a little bit with uh, RDC and apparently. Um, probably ACF missiles will be incorporated into it also. We'll, we'll just postpone the like main review of it. But we will take a little look at uh, composite armor and well, um, what can I say? I don't know too much about armor, but fortunately RDC, Red Dead Creeper, the person behind ACE project, and also you might have seen uh, seen some of his builds on the channel too. Made he has made some pretty impressive um, APC and AA vehicles and planes. And in any case, let's get into it and take a little quick look at uh, ACE armor um, with the composite armor that it brings in. Um, I am not uh, very well read into different types of armors, um, more than common sense and a, a quite good knowledge, I guess, about you know steel and its crystals, and that you can harden it to different temperatures and stuff like that. But that's really not what this armor is about, and I mean. Is pretty basic but anyways this is completely different this is our yes this is RDC's little uh, composite analyzer which analyzes the different versions of armor that is introduced and also um, well helps to explain what they all do so we'll take a quick look at this nothing advanced but I just wanted to show it off because it's pretty cool and I imagine that people that are a lot into tanks um, and basically armored military vehicles in general would think that this is really welcome and now uh, when you go to ACF armor properties you can I see it's uh, hmm. I'm not sure we can see what type of armor it is, but in any case, um, here we have the armor properties, and it's as it usually is, but this time you can have material, and you can set it between 0 and 6. There are no combined armors like that, but they are instead rounded to the, cl the closest value. So there are seven, seven different types of armors you can select. The zero is the, uh, here you can see, rolled homogeneous armor, which is basically normal steel armor. It's just, you know, regular rolled steel uh, that's been hardened to, a, you know, kind of good temperature that doesn't shatter it uh, while still kind of bounces a little bit yep and yep blocks shots from coming in um, yeah and then we have the cast and the cast is basically like cast iron um, so it's softer you can see here you can use use this one cast heavier and softer than RHA but takes less damage and uh, then we have uh, ceramic armor which light plate that it's lighter and more resilient to penetration but it's very brittle and hates being penetrated sad <laughs> yes, let's not make a joke about that. Rubber. And uh, rubber, why? I must ask. But apparently, rubber is effective versus heat. 
Jet and Spell. Spell? Yes. But does almost nothing to kinetic rounds, of course not. Then we have ERA, which is probably Explosive Reactive Armor. ERA is heavier than RHA. <laughs> when, when penetrated, it explodes, damaging nearby props. And the shell that hit it. Wait, what? Okay. So basically, an armor type that blows up a little bit or something. Cool. Well, and then we also have uh, aluminium and something called textolite. Um, I know aluminium, but it sucks as armor, and if you're talking about flight, like airplane grade aluminium, that's actually an alloy of mostly titanium, why it's very strong, but aluminium as armor, hmm, well, it's light. So I guess it's good for, uh, I guess it could be like good middle ground or something, I guess. Throw on aircrafts, better than plastic. <laughs> yeah, and textolite, I don't know what that is. I guess it's some kind of fabric based armor, like, I don't know. The Vikings probably used like um, many layers of linen fabric as kind of armor. And the Mongolians used many layered vests of silk, and that works in the armor. Or, or he used to hang up uh, big uh, fabrics in in in, uh, in the fields of uh, the battlefields of ancient China, and uh, the the uh, the arrows would stop. They would get caught in this fabric, basically, and all the power from them just drained with moving the fabric so that's cool but uh, i don't know maybe it's something that way maybe it's kevlar i don't know that's i guess a texture <laughs> it's also ceramic so i don't know in any case uh let's do some tests here here we can see uh, red deadly creepers composite analyzer 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 Pen. Natration, I suppose. So here we have... I don't know... Oh god, wrong tool. No comprende. Oh look, we can sec. Oh, it actually sees the type of armor. It's like cast ceramic. It doesn't show the pink. But uh, critical enter this hit. No. Okay, so this is some kind of hit and this mass. All right, so this example plate weighs like two thousand kilos. Oh well, any case, total efficiency. Oh, okay, right. So the first one is like the actual stats, and uh, the second one is the uh, effective stats. Uh, to explain this a little bit better, basically, so if you have uh, now, if we put it straight onto the armor like this, the efficient and the uh, actual stats are very similar but the effective armor actually counts angle as well so basically when we put it here okay, a little bit more angle like that you can see that uh, total armor is the same but the effective is very good because it calculates angle i guess you understand if you hit something at an angle it's more likely to bounce off 
because the uh, the uh, angle of penetration is a lot thicker if you you know watch it that way or just right through that makes sense it's uh, the same reason why you don't want to take a hit to a shield straight on but you rather take the hit with the shield angled because um, I guess many of the old uh, battle shields are not so thick that they could take a heavy blow straight on because if they were that thick they would be too heavy so you make them lighter and then you try to take the hits angled anyways let's not diverge too much into historical stuff that's totally unrelated um, let's just see if we can oh god no let's not use that from dog oh shit i take damage though there's like definitely a huge explosion in front of the armor shell I'm starting to think we might need a little bit more. Oh shit, we knocked something, didn't we? Oh well. Might need a straighter angle. Yeah. It uh, it's hits up, up us up here, so we take damage standing over here too. Oh no, more ammo. Reactive armor is supposed to damage nearby props and stuff. In any case, this is probably a super bad idea. But what if do we have this? Oh, I'm not sure. I guess like normal guns won't do much. Of course they won't, I suppose. Well, 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 in any case, um, <laughs> having small technical difficulties, I think we'll have to um, come back with some more extensive armor testing. But at that time, we can also enjoy ourselves really much and also test the different ammo types because there are different ammo types. Uh, armor piercing discarded meaning sabot. Um, high explosive fragmentation, high explosive squash heads, high velocity armor piercing. I think that's all of them. Yeah, uh, has also been added to the game. So of course, there is a lot of different types of shells that we can try out on the different armor types. And also this nice little compost, uh, composite uh, tutorial um, rack. And uh, if you like to have this rack, uh, you actually get it automatically, I heard, if you download ACE using the uh, Lua, no, using the SVN instead of the zip file, <laughs> which I used. Um, only, uh, or if you use the zip file, I'm sure you can ask uh, Red Deadly Creeper nicely in our Discord or something, and he might send you this uh, dupe file also I suppose that's a possibility uh, too in any case um, you should totally like play around a little bit with uh, the armor pack and uh, we'll get back with some more uh, detailed testing later on it's very cool with different armors types and uh, we did get the <laughs> explosive uh, reaction at least from these plates here uh, so in any case, we will be uh, coming back to you soon and we'll also continue to build uh, on the mech. Um, uh, last week I found out uh, RDC again helped me a little bit with uh, how to make it work with uh, the hood ship that we need to update in a special way, the ship code, uh, and then it worked again, so that's awesome. So we'll be getting back with doing that to finish it off and starting building some variants. And hopefully we can make some battles for that, that in the future too. In any case, 
thank you very, very much for watching and the ACE link is in the description. So in any case, have a great time. This is Jimmy Desmond Total on your channel. Signing out for now.